Now to a landmark story in English football. Hannah Dingley has become the first woman to take charge of a professional English men's team after she was named caretaker head coach of Forest Green Rovers. Dingley, who was appointed after the exit of Duncan Ferguson and will be in charge of tonight's friendly against non-league Melksham Town. Dingley joined the club from Burton four years ago and is the only woman in charge of Men's English Football League Academy. It's unclear where, whether she'll be given the job on a full-time basis, but she's looking towards the start of the new season. This is what she's had to say. I'm really excited for this new step of my career. Pre-season has just begun and the full season kicks off very soon. It's an exciting time in football. I am grateful for the opportunity to step up and to lead such a progressive and forward-thinking club. While club chairman Dale Fintz has said this, Hannah was the natural choice to be the first team interim head coach. She's done a fantastic job leading our academy and is well aligned with the values of the club. It's perhaps telling for the men's game that in making this appointment on merit will break new ground and Hannah will be the first female head coach in English men's football. Well, Dingley replaces Duncan Ferguson, who was only appointed in January. He took over with the club bottom of League One, and that's where they finished 18 points from safety. Well, Forest Green became the world's first vegan club in 2017, and two years ago, Vince suggested he was considering appointing a female manager as he wanted the club to continue to break new ground. Uh, this is what he had to say then. I think we'll take a new direction in our recruitment. Maybe we'll break some new ground. We'll recruit the kind of person perhaps that hasn't been recruited before to be a head coach. It is missing in men's football, but so are BAME head coaches. Everything is possible with us because we don't come at this in any preconceived way or in a way it has always been done. Done the hard yard. She's got a master's degree in sports coaching from the prestigious Loughborough University. She was an academy coach at Notts County. She was six years at Burton Alban and now several years at Forest Green. So uh, it's an impressive CV and, and good luck to her. That first important step where the, the next club to do won't be, it won't be the same kind of discussion around it. It will become rightfully normalised. Uh, and even if that takes time, it's just, it's uh, it's something that opens the door. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I can see it happening more and more. Well, to illustrate how significant this appointment is, before yesterday, Rosie Webb was the highest ranked female manager of a male team in England, managing Stanway Pegasus in Essex. That was at level 10 in the football pyramid. Well, two years ago, Emma Hayes, who has won six WSL titles and five FA Cups with Chelsea, was linked with the job at AFC Wimbledon. She was unhappy with the idea that the move would be viewed as a step up for her and believe it shone a light on the lack of diversity in the men's game. I just don't know why anybody would ever think women's football is a step down and coaching World Cup Cup champions, winners, you know, uh, players who have represented their country in the Olympics or uh, European Championship is a step down from anything. I think the football world needs to wake up and recognise that women, um, while the game is played by a different gender, is exactly the same sport. And the qualities involved with having to manage that is exactly the same than it would be for a men's team. We're talking about human beings here. I'm the manager of Chelsea. Uh, I manage and represent uh, elite, world-class players. And this, for me, is an amazing job that I've spent nine years cultivating all my energy into. Um, I'm not looking for another job. I'm blessed with working with wonderful humans day in, day out. 